Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. I am Top Deck King, and uh, we are doing a 2022 Gruel Best of One deck. Um, it's like a Mammoth deck because it runs four Mammoths here, runs these Mammoths, but it's a Gruel mid-range deck in reality because of Goldspan Dragons, other Dragons, Chariots, and stuff like that. So it is i i call it just gruel best of one it's running around 23 creatures so but yeah welcome to the channel hopefully if you guys are new by the time you guys are done watching this video hopefully you guys hit that thumbs up button subscribe um check the video description as always it has the deck list to if you want to port this deck to arena both pc and mobile if you play this deck or have tried something similar drop some comments down below we would love to hear any feedback on the deck if it's you know if it's good, better, if you made the deck better, if you tried the deck, if you didn't try the deck, you know, we would love to hear any and all feedback that you have. So feel free to drop some feedback, check the comments, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, uh, check the description of the video. Oh, also um, at the end of the video, uh, it'll be the final version of the deck. So if you wanna see the final version and the first version, the intro is going to have the first version and then at the end of the video and in the description of the video we'll have the final version so if you wanted to go and see the first version check the beginning of the video if you want to see the final version it's in the description slash end of the video i do a final analysis in best of one and then i do a uh, cyborg guide for best of three decks so check that out and let's get into the deck tech real quick so like i said it's a gruel deck it's a mid-range deck it's playing some creatures as far as removal spells we have pretty much i mean we don't have that many removal spells but we got four frostbites because it's a snow deck cheap removal blizzard brawl also because of snow and it's a very good card it gets your creature indestructibility lets them fight and then it gets a plus one one shadow school this is a way like we don't want to play too many of these because we want to make sure we hit our snow cards because this requires three and i mean this requires three to do the extra damage as well so but you can easily run a second one of these and maybe i would say cut maybe the highland forest or just straight up cut a a mountain if you want because you could shock this and this comes in tap but it gives you both colors so if you want to try adding another removal that's one thing you could do but i'm gonna try it out as a one of and then we have obviously the four jasperls and the four magda here obviously if you get to cast this turn one and then this turn two it's pretty bonkers you get to do two mana if not make three mana and then on turn three you get to have access to five six mana it's pretty ridiculous so that's why we're running that obviously if the combo works out well it's great if it doesn't by themselves they're really bad cards for prosperous innkeepers it helps us ramp it helps us allows us to gain life back this card's pretty good for what it does it's a two mana one one you know what i'm saying so very very solid card for what it does ranger class well it's one of the I guess the class cards is probably the most ridiculous broken class card probably out there. The first effect gets you a 2-2. Two, two. The second effect makes your creatures get plus 1, plus 1. The third effect allows you to play your creatures off the top of your deck. Like that card, it for 2 mana to play this card, it should not have been a 2 mana spell. But hey, you know, whatever. It's one of the best classes in the, in the format right now. So, of course, I'm going to be running 4 four mammoths this is uh it plays as a land worst case scenario or as a creature here so we're running four I'm not 100 percent on four i might change this to three but i wanted to keep the mammoth theme in a sense so i'm running four at the moment but we'll see how the matches go it might be changed to three or not two chariots chariot is a very good card obviously it can be animated pretty easily and especially if you use magda here you can uh, use magda to animate it it creates two dudes use magda creates a treasure creates and then you animate it attack creates a token you know whatnot so two chariots um i might move this up to three or four depending on how the deck goes we'll see if i end up taking this up to three i'll probably cut a mammoth for it uh cherry is a very solid card especially since we're playing a lot of ramp cards you know with jasper magda and prosperous innkeeper chariot on average should be a turn three effect or a turn three card i should say so that's why i might change this to three i might not even end up playing some of these but if i do put chariot i will cut some of this 
Obviously for Goldspan Dragons, we're in a cruel deck. This is a treasure type of deck with Magda and Keeper. So we're definitely running four gold spans. It's one of the better cards in the format still. It was good in the last format. It's good in this format. So Battle Mammoth, here is the spice and the uh, card that could make this deck into a better deck. So obviously you can foretell it and then you can cast it on turn four. So it's a six five with Trample. But anytime any of your creatures are targeted by spells and abilities, you get to draw the card. So later in the game, when you have, you know, Innkeeper and Sentinel and stuff like that, they're useless by themselves, right? This allows them to be a little bit of use in a sense. So you cast this, if they kill, usually people do go after Jasper because because it could generate you extra mana or Magda. And then when they kill it, you get to draw a card. So we're going to try this out and see how he works. He's a 6-5 guy, so he can be very strong, but we don't. I'm not 100% sure. I wanted to try it out, give him a whirl and see. And then one Infernal as a haster, uh, possible, you know, do a bunch of damage in the air really quickly. Give this a try. So, but that's the deck. Nothing special about the lands. One Dan, one Lair. The rest are just, you know, snow lands and um, obviously Craig pathway crack or crack crown pathway so this is the deck we're going to give a test out in the 2022 standard at the moment let's see how this deck works stick around for the gameplay and let's go into it and see how we do all right let's try some uh gruel action here some gruel not the it's a dragon mammoth kind of rampy version tetchy g90 Get to go first. I get to go first. I get to go first. Sucks. All right, we're playing against white. Uh. All right, let's foretell this. Play this as their four mana. Play this as their, I mean, three mana, four mana, five mana. So turn three, turn four, turn five. Another usher. Interesting. Kodak. Okay. That works. Okay. Well, now then. Um, all right. So if we do put this on green, play this first, get the treasure, play this to gain a life. Now we can do a turn four gold span. Is it better to do a turn four gold span or to a battle mammoth? Battle Mammoth is a 6-5. Okay. Don't take my treasure. Don't take my treasure. That's fine. That's fine. And if you attack, Paladin. Wow, he attacked. Wait, was this not the second spell? He played it incorrectly, I see. He played it backwards. Interesting. All right, so do I want to do a mammoth or do I want to do gold span? I'm pretty sure I want to do gold span because I don't see why not, and it gives me a treasure as well. And then I can cast this guy because then this guy gives me a treasure when it comes in, and it's also another creature. So we're back up to the treasure mana creatures you get plus one, plus one. Wow. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess. All right, let's see. So I play this. I get another treasure. Gain two life here. Sack the treasures, play the mammoth. Gain another two life. Play this as my tap source. I'm trying to see if there's a possibility for me to win here or do I lose if I attack with gold span. What does the third effect do? Each other attacking creature and gains double strike. And it costs what four or five to animate. If I attack with gold span, do I lose? Is the question. I have three blockers, so it's four attackers. I think I'm. I survive, but I think I'll survive, but I don't want to lose some of the prospectors here so that we can gain some life. 
for eat for each other attacking creature he gained double strike okay I was like I don't know if that matters so and against double strike huh I guess we could chump walk All right, I need a, a kill spell here. Jasper Sentinel is not a kill spell. All right, I guess we're attacking. Because I can animate these, so I could use this as another blocker possibly. So it costs four to animate, and this is X, whatever, you know. So technically, I'm not dead. Sure. So let's see what he's attacking with and what he's giving double strike to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can make it to a six, six. So we can make this into a six, six. And then we could chump lock. Pass the blockers. So block here, chump block there. All right. And then your faceless haven is just dead. Are you dead on the backswing? No, not yet. Oh, almost dead. But so they conceded though, because they're probably dead. All right, let's see what we can do with this mammoth gruel deck. Rampy slash big boy ran, uh, mammoth. Elder, obviously, if Elder Ar Gargroth was legal, this deck would be a lot better. But playing standard 2022, I guess I have to keep. I have spells. I could cast this turn four, this turn five. I technically have three mana with a removal spell at the moment. We don't know what our opponent is playing. So, and they took a mulligan, that helps. So turn one, possibly kill whatever they have. Turn two, foretell this. We can hit a fourth land, we can cast it. Ooh, they're playing against, they're playing dragons. They're playing dragons, right? Foretell, this is a dragon card, yep. All right. Swift Inkeeper. Maybe it's not dragons. All right, we have to put this on green. Then we can cast and cast. This gives us technically our fourth mana. Technically, as long as they don't die. It technically gives us our fourth mana. What the heck? So he's playing Teamer. Chariot. That's a good one. Sure. A teamer. Do I want to frostbite one of these? Why the heck would you? I was like, why would you attack? Um, I guess we'll kill one. All right. Um, gold span dragon. Now I'm gonna cast mammoth here. I'm going to cast Mammoth here for the reasoning of if he tries to kill any of my creatures, then I can start using it to um, start drawing cards off it. If he has a kill spell or something. Jasper Sentinel, sure. Gain a life. You have four power technically at the moment, so you can animate Chariot. Speaking of, see? Now we get to draw a card. Take action. Results. And that's why we wanted to play Mammoth first. No. Why? Why won't you give me the red mana? Why wouldn't you give me the red mana? Hmm. They have two cards in their hand. Is it worth tapping Mammoth 
to cast Goldspan Dragon. That's tough to say, actually. I don't know if it's worth it, though. Because, like... Hmm. Mammoth is technically holding the chariot off. I don't think it's worth it. So I'm just going to pass here and then just do it next turn. I don't think it's worth it. Obviously, having a gold span out is uh, great. Don't get me wrong. But having Mammoth out there untapped is also very solid. All right, let's try gold span dragon. They have a counter spell. I mean, it technically doesn't matter. All right, let's go to combat. Swing in with gold span. Get the treasure. I could technically cast the other mammoth here too now, because we technically have two, three, four mana. I think I'll wait. I don't want to use my treasure quite yet. This mammoth is holding off like the removal spells. And it's holding off their aggression. Sure, so he gains two life. And it creates a treasure. Right? I wonder what the blue is for. I'm wondering what the blue is for. Maybe they're running drag the blue dragon, I just don't know. Alright, so let's cast the second mammoth. Because now if they anything they target any of my creatures twice. All right, they conceded. They can't be double mammoth. Nice. All right. Okay, let's play some mammoth. Some mammoth. Space Gatto. Pony goes to go first. I'll keep. I have, a, I have three mana. Turn two spells. A partial removal. Playing against maybe goblins here. Ooh, that's a really good draw. It's a good draw. I'm assuming goblins because of this land. But, I mean, I, I could be... up. Oh, there it is. There he is. Okay, so what does he do? Gains first strike. Okay, so he gains first strike. So, we'll play ranger class, I guess. Could play prospector and then... Yeah, I'll play prospector. It gives me the, the treasure so I can cast chariot turn three. I was about to play the wrong, incorrect card. And I can use this also technically as a blocker against the captain. Because I don't really care technically. I mean, I do care for the life effect. But I, okay. I'm like, I'll take one. No problem. I do care about the life effect. But I also don't care about the life effect, if you know what I mean. Gain haste. Is it worth killing it? Is it worth killing that card? It might be. And then, um, so if I play this, no, 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 hold on. I need to play the snow, this one. So if I play this with this, it says if the creature you control is, If you control three or more snow permits, the creature you control gets plus one. plus one. So we're gonna fight this guy. So target creature, target creature. Kill that guy off, and we're done. And once again, we'll take one damage, I guess, if we have to. He hit his third mana now. Relic robber. That's not good. It has first strike. Wait, three, four, five, oh, because it's six. So if this does damage to a player, so I guess we're going to block here so I don't get the treasure. Let's play Chariot. I think we're going to pass. All right, well, 
we need some of our haymaker cards. Otherwise, we're not probably beating what they're doing. Definitely not going to beat what they're doing. Um, those three damage are good if it was kicked. I feel like I should just animate here now. So that way I get a 4-4 four, four out there. That way if he wants to attack with Robert or anything else, we can block. It looks like right now he can't attack technically. Yeah, see. So play this. Play this. Oh, play that. So I animate by doing these two guys. If he wants to, I could. If he wants to block, I technically kill off two of his guys. I'm okay with that. And then I could also create a clone of this. So if he wants to double block, I'm okay with that. So he's probably gonna kill Mag Magda here. Yeah. I need mo some spells, hopefully, but. I do have the third effect though, luckily, so that will help me out. All right, so he's attacking with everything. I could block and kill this. But if I do that, then I lose the possibility of animating the creature or animating a cherry, I should say. So if I block this to this, I lose the possibility of, um, animating chariot here unless i top deck something off the top of my deck obviously i could block here block here then i'll take five and then force him to i guess i'll take one treasure all right and then he's going to use his effect to kill jasper sentinel here yep and then we get one of these guys unfortunately Ooh, Goldspan Dragon. That's a good one. I could technically attack. Can't block. I could attack and put counters on this guy if I wanted to, but um, I don't want to do that. Two, four, five. I guess let's do this first and see what we possibly hit. What's on top? Ooh, okay. So if I attack here... But animate this attack. I think it's better to animate this attack and make another token. And I'm still hitting them for six. Yep. We'll make another one of these. And I'm still hitting them for six. And I have now two blockers. And then I'm hitting this next turn. Sure. That's fine. I could double block. Test the blockers. I'll take four. Am I gonna? No, I don't know if I kill him. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna take another one from this. Oh, this is gonna be close. Um, other goblins you control get plus one, one deals damage equal to the number of goblins that enter the battlefield you control to any target to any target huh okay well I'm definitely casting this question is question is am i animating this guy to make another treasure another token here i can give up gold span i think for it and maybe hold the inferno back because i don't really need the treasure at the moment Six ten. i mean if i attack with everything technically he has to, no i can't because i can't animate this Six ten. Actually, yeah, he has to. 6, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, he has to block with everything. 
He has to block with this guy. If I attack. Put it on... I guess Gold Span Dragon. He has to block... Next to damage. 6, 11... Oh, I didn't attack with the other one! Oh my gosh. I didn't attack... Oh my gosh. I didn't attack with this one. I punted. No, actually, well, no, never mind, never mind. Because he just chump blocks here. That's only 11, 12, 13. Yeah, 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 never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I put him on a one turn clock. Okay. Ooh. I was thinking animating chariot. That's what I was thinking. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we have to block this. See what he does though. Am I dead? I might be dead. Maybe dead. Now. What's it doing? All right, pass the blockers. I may have to had to have hold back there. There's no bone crusher in the game, so that's good. Okay, so we win the game. The game opponent. That was that was well played. It's well, well, well played. Oh my gosh. Alright, some gruel, some gruel, some gruel. Some gruel. Spirit Toa. Spirit Toa. I get to go first. We, hey, we actually have the... Oh, no, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't, because this land... Nope, never mind. I mean, I'm still going to play it and hope I draw the... But, no, we don't, because we got this land. Maybe I should have just played it out. Oh! Look how lucky that was. Okay, auto pay. What are we playing against? Snow control? Blue white snow control? Blue white not snow control. We get to cast a turn four mammoth, or turn three mammoth, I should say, actually. Turn three mammoth. 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 I could also just frostbite this attack, but then that gives me a treasure, but then I won't be able to cast Mammoth here unless I draw. No, not even an untapped land would do it. Oh, come on. Why would you go get that one? Why would you go get that one, opponent? At least we get to draw a card off it. Yep, I guess we get to draw a card and create a creature off it, I should say. So we got that. Oh, he can't cast it. He doesn't have double weight. What does that do? Whenever it damage, venture into the dungeon. Venture into the dungeon. Okay, so they're playing a venture deck. That's interesting. So... As flying, and whenever this creature does combat damage to a player, it ventures into the dungeon. Can't be blocked as long as it's attacking alone. Deals combat damage to a player, venture into the dungeon. So they both venture into the dungeon. So... Both venture into the dungeon. So if I frostbite this one away, I can attack with everything here. Attack with everything and cast Mammoth might be game next turn. Don't know if there's a blue white board wipe effect. Create a treasure token. Or... What is this? Oh, when you complete the dungeon. Okay. That's the complete the dungeon effect. So, target creature can't attack until your next turn. 
spell or ability. So I get to draw a card off it. Take action. <clears throat> Resolves. We get to draw. You know what I'm saying? We get to draw. All right. Let's see. Play the land. Make it a 5-5. Five, five. This is a battlefield venture. Venture. I could kill this. Hit him for 5, 6, 7, 8 damage. No, it doesn't do it doesn't do four damage. What am I wait, 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 wait. It doesn't do four damage. Let's attack with everything. I'm like, it does four damage. It does not do four damage. Oh, they have Doom Scar in their hand, I guess. Because otherwise, why would they block this instead of blocking this? I'm, ass I'm assuming that's what it is. Oh, they can't play Doom Score yet. Okay. So try to kill your guy? If you have a protection spell, you lose to combat? All right, good game opponent. Interesting. All right, let's continue this gruel train. The gruel train. Maui six six six. I feel like I've played against this player before in the past, but I don't really know. Um, it's not the greatest hand, but it's a playable hand. It's not the greatest, but it's playable. That land is not. What, especially with three of them like this, since I have you know a bunch of green cards in my hand, but hey, okay, ugh, can't kill it yet. So we'll play the innkeeper instead. Technically, I can block and then kill it, but that uh makes me have to give up my treasure. Don't know if I want to give up my treasure. Sure, no blocks. Looks like we're playing against the mono green deck here. The mono green. All right. So I could play this. Get some treasures or some life back also, I should say. Then I could frostbite this guy, get him out of the field and pass turn. Next turn, we can cast big mammoth or we could cast some chariots. Looks like we're taking five. No, his own chariot. Yeah, no blocks. What the heck do you have? Oh, you can animate chariots. What the hold up is okay. Like, and there's also these stupid layered things, but gold span dragon. So we animate. We get four. Then we can play chariot. All right, we'll do that. So, do this. Swing in for four, play chariot. We get to gain, what is this, two? And then we gain another two, four. Attack, get another treasure. And then let's play chariot. And then we gain another uh, four life. We go back up to 19 here now. Yep, gain a bunch of life. And you're up. He targets our gold span. We get the treasure we can use to cast Mammoth. Feed, you know. So we got we got plays we could do here. I don't think Green has a combat trick. So if he decides he wants to animate this chariot, I'm pretty sure we animate our own and block because we have another one in our hand. So if he wants to do this, I feel like we just go for the block here. Yes, he gets to create a, you know. So, I don't think there's a combat trick in green. Am I wrong? I believe Blizzard Brawl is sorcery speed. So, I could block here. Trade off the chariot. I'll take five. That's fine. We have another chariot here in our hand. 
Okay. Ooh, Blizzard Brawl. That's a good one. So let's see what I can do here. Um, attack with everything, except for the, obviously the, those. I could use Blizzard Brawl on this to kill this off. Alright. Target. Target. Get to create a treasure here right off the bat. And then I get to hit him for five. He has to block these, right? So attack with this. Create another treasure. I think he's going to chump chump. Yeah. Take five. We don't want him to draw. That's why we killed this guy. And then now I can cast Battle Mammoth. I, I, I killed the the wolf guy because I don't want him to draw. Him hitting me for five is technically fine because I'm gaining a bunch of life back with the innkeepers here. I'd rather keep him away from draw since he has only three cards in his hand. Like we can outrace him on life wise. We just can't beat him if he draws. What the heck is this? What? Trample haste. When it deals combat damage to a player, exile that many target cards from that from their graveyard. For each creature exile, this way you gain one life for each non-creature exile. Alrighty then. <laughs> Alrighty then. Ugh, another land though, huh? Alright. So if I attack with both, he could double block. I think I just attack with Goldspan here. I'm gonna gain another four life here. I feel like I just attack with Goldspan here. If he ever attack targets any of my creatures, okay, yeah, see, there we go. That was pretty. There we go. Hey everybody, welcome again to the final analysis of the deck. What I think of it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the gameplay so far. You guys ch got to check out the intro. Um, I just want to add one more time that. Uh, check out the description of the video because it has the deck list there so you can port it to your arena both pc and mobile drop some comments down below if you get to try this deck out if you played against it or you tried you know if you played against it you tried it you've seen it um, drop some comments down below what you think about it if you made any changes you made it better worse whatnot but let me know what you guys think of the deck drop some comments down below if you're new hopefully by the time you're done watching the video I get that thumbs up from you on the video and I hit you guys hit that subscribe button, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let's see the final changes to the deck. So I made a few changes from the gameplay and intro till now. So some of the changes I made was I cut the Jasper and Magda down by one and one and I cut two mammoths here. Obviously the Jasper Magda is a great combo if you get it off on the turn one turn two effect, but later in the game it became very very bad and it just got in my way more than it helped out so for that reason i brought it down to one and one and then mammoth i mean yes i wanted to keep like a mammoth theme here but it didn't i never really got to play it i played it like once or twice and i would have always rather have had chariot there instead of the mammoth but i'm still going to run two because it's a worst case scenario it is a land for you so that's why i still have two in the deck and i upped it so the changes that i did was uh, obviously i cut one one and cut two and what i added was I added two of this card this card is actually not bad it does three damage to any target so in a best of one usually this can kill anything then it gets you a learn effect you could grab one of these cards so it also allows you to like if you punch in through some damage and you need that last bit of point of damage to do to them you could target them and do three damage to them so i added two of that since it's a best of one deck so we get a lesson learn package into the deck I've also added one chariot again. Like I said, I originally had two. I moved this up to three because like I said, every time I had mammoth, I would rather have chariot because I was always able to usually cast it on turn three. Either I had Magda with a treasure or I had Jasper Sentinel to be able to tap something or even just Prosperous Keeper on turn two, play a land on turn three, cast chariot. So I moved chariot up to three. And the other card we added, or I should say I added, was is this Mogog or Morgog Fury. This guy is very, very, very techy. 
but when he goes off, he just obliterates your opponent because it gives you an additional combat phase. And then he's a 6 6. Yeah, so like, and then the creatures, they, when they attack again, they get another plus one, plus one. It's hilarious when he goes off. He doesn't get in the way. I've, I haven't seen him get in the way yet. I've always seen him kind of help more than help, hurt. I've seen him only running one, so I don't draw him that often. But the landfall trigger is very hilarious with this guy. So I have one of him in here for that thing. But other than that, we like I said, that was the only changes. We added one of him, one chariot. We added two uh, inspirations. We removed one Jasper. We removed one Magda. Removed two Mammoths. Then we added a lesson learned package. I mean, this is you could change it however you want, but this is kind of like the basic lesson learned package. Since we only have two learn effects, I wanted to make sure I have like one of every one just in case. You could even technically add this one. I'm not a fan of this one, but you could technically even add this one instead of one of the mascots. So let's just go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, so now you have technically access to one of every of the solid ones. So that's, and the green, you know, green red ones, they technically have some of the better uh, lesson cards. So, but yeah, you can, you can play with this if you want, but I, I feel like if you keep it at one of everything, you should be good because it deals with everything. This gets you a land, this destroys artifacts or does one damage to it, maybe a creature. This looks at the top of your deck to grab a creature and gains you life. This destroys the artifacts or enchantments. If you're playing against something that, you know, right off the bat, you could destroy treasures if worst case scenario, and then it creates a one, one pest token. Um, this, if you have a bunch of lands in your hand, you could start dumping a lot of your cards out of your hand, start drawing cards. And if there is seven cards in the graveyard, you get a three, two. Like I said, this deals with technically anything. Yeah, they get to draw a card, which is very bad, but it deals with everything. And then obviously mascot, I mean, you get to put in play, what is this, nine power onto the board. So that deals with that. But yes, um, as far as how good of a deck it is, it I think it's a maybe tier 1.5, tier 2 deck. I don't think it's a tier 0, tier 1 deck or whatever they want to call it. The best decks in the format. It's a fun deck. It has very uh, awesome interactions it has very amazing churns but it's also not having like all the busted cards in the format again then again 2022 is still technically new so you don't really know what is going to be a busted deck but as far as how i would rate this deck i would rate it as a tier 1.5 maybe you know in that 1.52 range it's good it's not great it's fun and it gets you wins. Is it going to get you to mythic? Maybe not. Uh, you could get, I mean, you could get really lucky and get there. Will it get you to platinum diamond? I think the deck will get you to platinum for sure. Diamond, a good chance it could get you there. Mythic will be very hard. It will be a battle. But as you guys saw, we beat some of the top tier decks, like the mono green deck and all that. Um, we played against, you know, the snow white decks, the, you know, the goblins decks. We played against a bunch of the tier decks, I guess. So it did beat them. But is it a mythic deck? In my opinion, it is not. So hopefully you guys have fun with this deck. Give it a try. If you have the cards, give it a try. 2022 standard is pretty fun because we got all that Eldrain bogus broken stuff out of the format. So, but hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Hopefully I get to see you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.